Welcome back. Glad you made it. It's another social production. We're doing it on October 21st, 2022. Thank you very much. It is Friday, TGIF. We're about to head into an exciting weekend. And welcome back to another exciting episode of fun-filled adventures of me and you and you and me together, doing it big, doing it small, doing it medium, all sizes and shapes in and around this beautiful planet, wherever you are, whether you're in Toronto, Canada, you're out there in BC on the West Coast, anywhere, if you're in the middle, if you're anywhere in Saskatchewan, Alberta, shout out to you guys if you're down South in America in the US, doing it big if you're in Mexico, if you're in South America, what's up? If you're in Europe, Africa, Asia, Antarctica, New Zealand, Australia, Japan, what's up? Papua New Guinea, everybody what's up hope you're all hanging on hang on tight because we are on a sphere just spinning in midair which is tight dude which is pretty tight lady and i hope you're tight not too tight though you know but like tight you know and i hope you're i hope you're tight if you're if you're female i hope you're tight if you're male i hope you're loose no if you're male i hope you're you're hanging if you're female i hope you're tight yeah, I do it. Because that's not, like, I'm not going to be putting out, oh, I, I hope she's loose. You know, I'm not going to put off that kind of energy for you on your uh, Friday, dude, on this lady. I hope you're tight. And gents, I hope you're hanging low, but, like, not too low. <coughs> Excuse me. But also, like, not too high. You don't want to be hanging too high either. So I hope you're hanging mid, mid-range mid hanging. You know what I'm saying? It's just, like positive energy that's what i just want to make sure you're tight and you're hanging at a reasonable elevation let's just put it that way you know what i'm saying baby boys baby girls let's get into it to be honest with you we're just gonna shoot the shit today we're just gonna have some fun i'm excited tomorrow is oh my goodness boys and girls ladies and gents i know you're all excited i'm all excited too what for you're asking and i think it's obvious what what day is tomorrow what day is tomorrow? You're like, it's just no big deal. October 22nd, 2022, no big deal. Just a bunch of twos. Uh, no big deal. Oh, but it also happens to be coincidence, UFC 280? I don't think so, fam. I don't think so, big dog. Ladies, gents, it's a stacked card. It is uh, It is a card that has been stacked, that it's been, it's been shuffled. This card's been shuffled. This card's been stacked, shuffled, and uh, brand new deck, same deck new shuffle but it's stacked and it's let me read some of the names let me just read all the names you know what let's and we're gonna do this together let's go through all the names that'll be i believe it's in abu dhabi abu dhabi if i could say a thing or two about abu dhabi abu dhabi abu dhabi dabu dubi abu dubi dubi abu abu dhabi abu dhabi dude you know what it is you know what it is abu dhabi dhabi dubi Abidubi, Dubi, Abidubi. If I can say a thing or two about Abidubi, it is, um, it's hot, it's hot, and the heat is elevated. That's why you see everybody wearing like you know all white, just like you know in dashikis and like that. And that's like, I think that's what they call them. And that's like the, that's like pants and a shirt, but all in one. You know, pants and shirt. No, you know, and that's, that's, that's tight, dude. That's actually loose, but it's tight. You know what I'm saying? And that weather, it makes sense, I guess. Maybe. You don't want, you don't want a lot of friction, I'm assuming. But then you're like, why didn't they go with kilts? I don't know. I don't know. To each their own. Dashikis, white on white. You know, maybe a li- little bit of, a uh, uh, little bit of like, you know, a t- line on the side or something. I don't know how the decorations go, but it's tight. Anywho, that's. Abu Zabi, Dhabi, what else is there? It's, uh, it's, man, full of beautiful people, of course, filled with beautiful people doing things. A lot of sand from what I've seen, from what I hear, a lot of sand, which is good. If you're into sand, fucking Dhabi's got you by the bucket. Bring a bucket. How do they do with water? You're like, Got a lot of sand. Do they have enough water? I don't know. I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't know that much about Abu Dhabi. Or I, I could pretend. No, I do know a lot. I know everything about Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi is... 
the it's it's a place it's a country it's in a country of dubai is it dubai i don't even know dude yes i do yes i do i'm not gonna google i'm just gonna you know what i'm gonna double down i'm gonna say dubai or united arab emirates okay it's killing me i gotta know now where is abu dhabi because we're all out here just naming places. You're like, oh, he's so worldly. He must know all the places. Every time he's like, oh, shout out to everybody in this place and that place. I'm not that worldly, dude. You think you know me, right? Abu Dhabi. It is, <laughs> just like you and I knew, capital of the United Arab Emirates. So if you guess Dubai, you're wrong, sir, mister, sister from another mother. It is the United Arab Emirates, and they're, they're, what, what are they known for? Unity, for one. If we know anything about the Arab region of the world, it's unity, and they're down with it because it's right in their name, United Arab Emirates. And what is, what is you know what, we're not going to get into what an Emirate or Emirat is. What is an Emirate? You know what? I'm not going to get into Google and every word that we don't know just because it's like, let's just, you know, it's, a, it's, the, it's, the, uh, it's the kingdom. I'm going to go with kingdom. United Arab Kingdom. That's what it stands for. Emirat. The, uh, the, the Khalifa. Khalifa. The, they're doing it. They're doing it. And these are the things that bring us together. That and like, you got to get there. So, you know, a little bit of traveling. Not going to lie, fam. If you're out here in the, you know, if you're in other parts of the world that's you're gonna have to fly over you you could swim you could swim you're like fuck it dude i'm, I'm tired of like you know oh I'm, I'm so over flying i'm just gonna you know and i'm a, and that's the thing too you're going to ufc you don't want anybody can just get in a you know an airmobile and just like you know be oh, oh look at me i'm all i'm so fly look at me i'm jet set and no big deal but like if you want to like if you're going to the ufc and you're fighting if, if you're fighting i'd assume you swam there why because like that's how you work all the muscles in the fighting game and you, and you know what it is about the fighting it's fighting we're going to talk about a little bit i guess fighting as well today uh, all the elements and how many how many belts do i have under my fights or how many fights do i have under my belts sometimes the lines are so you know close and merging I, I asked that question myself. How many belts do I have under my fights? How many or how many fights do I have on my belts, dude? Do I use my belts in fighting? Have I used fighting when I was I did I get in a fight with my belt a couple of times? Absolutely. And that's what it is. Cause I don't just like, oh, we're just gonna practice, you know, one method of you know, that's what it is, baby. I'll get into a little grappling match just with my belt. I'll pull myself, I'll just like oh, stop choking me, and then I'll have to like, oh tap myself out and like be like oh nice try good try but you know gotcha it's a whole thing i'll do it i've not done it but like need be i'll get into it dude you don't know me but it's about fighting and it's not about you and me it's about these real t t fighters out there the boys and girls that just oh put everything on the line dude everything is when it comes to fighting just put it on the line dude you're like where is the line <laughs> you determine where the line is you, you are the line. You draw the line. It starts with connecting two dots, I'll tell you that. If I can tell you a thing or two about lines, you don't know where to draw the line, start with finding two dots, dude, two points, and then connect them. And what do you got? Lines! And then what do you do with it? You put everything on the line. We just talked about it. Keep up, because we're talking about fighting. And I get excited, because it's things that I can't do at that level anyway, you know what I mean? Because, like, again, if it means putting a couple of, you know, outfits in a triangle, all, you know what I mean? That's what it is, dude. I'll do it. I'll get into a little scrap with a hooded sweater. You don't know me, dude. You don't know me. But that's the level I've taken it to. For others, they're like, oh, I gotta be the best. You know what I mean? And that's... And that's your life. And I admire that because, again, I can't do that. Or, yeah, I can't do that. But that's what it is. It's not like, you know, it's not like we don't have belts in our fights, dude, and, and fights in our belts, under them, over them, on top of beneath them, dude. Because everybody's like, yeah, how many belts have you got under your fights? What about beneath the fights? How many belts have you got beneath the fight? Nobody ever looks at beneath the fight and the belts. It's like, 
Belt City. This guy. That's right. But it is exciting. It's not about me. It's not about you. It's about those boys and girls, those ladies and gents who've dedicated their lives to the martial arts and the beautiful art of taking out an opponent using their mental, spiritual, physical faculties all, all brought into one. So they've mastered it. They're all masters. I'm going to just read the names of these beautiful contestants and tomorrow is a stacked card so bear with me a few seconds and i do apologize in advance if i'm going to mispronounce your last names or maybe even first names because let's be honest names are sometimes difficult in the preliminary card though let's just begin and again should we fall and stumble with the pronunciation of your names or last names i do apologize in advance it's all love Let's start with tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Who's on the card, you ask? The fight starts with Carol Rosa and Lena Landsberg, okay? 10.30 a.m., that's Eastern Standard Time, if I'm not mistaken. It's going to be in the a.m. Because I guess it's in Abu Zabi, Dhabi. Dubi. It's in the United Arab Emirates, fam. It makes sense. It's all the way on the other side of the planet, which means for us here... You got to tune in. We got to tune in on the AMs, right? So you got, yeah, Carol Rosa going up against Lena Landsberg, okay? Tight. And then after that, we got in the, that's women's banner weight, all right? And then in the flight weight, right after that, we got Mohammed Mokayov. Makayov, Momakayov, there it is, versus Malcolm Gordon, tight. Middleweight after that. Armin Peter Sion. Peter Peter Osen. Peter Osion. Pedersen. You know who it is, it's Armin. Versus AJ Dobson. Yeah, boy. Let's get it. After that, we got 1030 Welter Bait. Abu Bakr Nura Magamadov. <laughs> Easy dude. Nura Magama. Abu Bakr versus, how do you say that one more time? Because that sounds familiar. We've heard this last name before. Nurmagomedov, Nurmagomedov, Nurmagomedov. Say that five times. Nurmagomedov, 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 Nurmagomedov. Abu Bakr versus, it does sound familiar. Where have we heard that? Habib? Nurmagomedov? Hmm? Ring a bell? Are they cousins? Brothers? Sisters? I doubt it, but they might be related. Maybe not. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say they are. I'm gonna say I know for a fact. As a matter of fact, if you guys are walking around with the same last name, you think you're not related, you know, put in a little bit of that cheddar towards a 23 and me. Or check out the Ancestry.com region, you know, just, I'm saying, dude, might be cousins, might be brothers, might be like, again, sisters, I don't know, dude. But it's someone in that last name, I think. Versus Gadzi, Omar Gadziev. Again, I do apologize with these last names. Some of them are hard, okay? Versus, after that, we got in the lightweight, light heavyweight, we got Wolkin Ozadmir, Ozadmir, Ozadmir versus Nikita Krylov, dude. Nikita Krylov, Krylov, Krylov. After that, okay, at 10.30 in the middleweight division, you got Mahmoud Muradov, Muradov. And that's that murder dove, baby. You know what it is, versus Chow. Kayo. 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 I'm going to go with Kayo. Kayo. Bra. Boral. Boralho. Boralo. And then after that, we got at Walter Wade Division 1030. Again, it's happening in the AM. Bilal Muhammad versus Sean Brady. Okay. Oh, man. And then. And then we're starting to get closer and closer, closer and closer. We're edging. We're edging. You're like, slow it down. I can't. I can't. 
I can't hold her any longer. But we're gonna try after a sip. We got tomorrow at 2 p.m. Okay, now this is, we're heading into main card event territory. Okay. We got Caitlin Shook again. Shook again. I'm going to say once, it's, I believe it's Shook again. Or maybe Chook again. I'm going to go with Shook again. Caitlin Shook again. Chook again? Shook again. Shook again. Shook again. Versus Manon Manon Theorot Firerot Firerot Firehot Firerot Manon Firerot versus Manon Firerot. Okay. After that, in the lightweight men's lightweight division at two in the PM, you got. Benil Dariush versus. I do apologize again with some of the again. It's, I'm trying my best here. I'm gonna go with Myth. How do you say this? Met. 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 Mateo. It's not Mateo. It could be Mateo. 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 Mate, uh, me, mate, easy to break it down. Me, ma, te, us, mates. God, I'm really trying here. Gamrot, Mateo Gamrot. Terribly sorry. I do apologize. It's, I don't know how to say some of your names. I'm just being totally honest with you. All right? Do not. Fucking like, you know what I mean? After the show, I feel like for really, you know, oh, you messed up my name. I happen to get an L. You see me on the streets. I know I'm not in Abu Zabi, but like still, you come to Toronto and you're like, it's that dude that fucked up my name. Not on purpose, dude. I'm legit looking at it. It says M-A-T-E-U-S-Z. Man. Oh, man. We're all friends, okay? Tight. Keep it tight, dude. After that, Peter Yawn. Okay? Peter Yawn. Bantamweight, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time versus Sean O'Malley. That's exciting. I'm excited. All right. And after that, you got Man O' oh Man. Bantamweight, co-main event event. Okay. Aljamain Sterling versus TJ Dillashaw, which I am excited for. All these fights are exciting. I'm excited for all of them. And then the main event, though, I've been waiting for a moment like this. I've been waiting for a girl like you. I've been waiting for a moment like this. Okay. We're excited. Tight, dude. It's gonna be Charles Oliveira versus Islam Makachev Mak Makachev Makachev Mak Islam Makachev Maka Mak Islam dude you know who it is they, okay, so we read the we read the cards, we read the names, you know what it is, I'm excited. You know all the names, you know how to say them out there. Say it right, say it tight. And yeah, baby boys, baby girls, it's exciting because it's all about the game of fighting. And it's things that we could all learn from, and it's things that we could all appreciate. Because this is what I'm talking about, man. If you got like, you know what I mean? If you got like that energy in you, and you're just like... You're you're in your dad's nutsack just floating about, just like fight another sperm, dude. You get out that you get out that urinary tract and you end up in your mom's you know what I'm talking about right there? And you're you and you fought off like millions of other sperm because you got that in you. And then you go out there and like you get inside that egg and you start bonding with the egg and you and it's tight. It's tight in there and then you start like 
you're kicking in your mom's stomach, dude. Lady, you're a kicker. You're heading it. You're headbutting your mom in the stomach. Every, you know, regular moms, most of us reg moms, every once in a while, one of us might like throw a little high knee, little jab, and then the, they'll be like, oh, feel my baby bump, and, it, and it's kicking. That means it's alive. Great. Those are reg babies, fighter babies, nonstop, dude. Just working that back, dude. Just fucking working, fighting, jabbing, ear, 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 like everything, dude. And that's what it is. Sometimes that happens. And they, you know, and that's the type of baby that's just like, yo, I'm gonna just like bust out of here a little bit earlier than expected, maybe a couple of days early, cause that's, I'm ready to go. Let's go. Your mom's been just eating, feeding you all the nutrients. Reg babies are like, oh, reg nutrients. Fighter babies, they're like, oh, give me more nutrients. Cause I'm gonna be just, oh, using everything. Every ounce of me is gonna be fighting, dude. And then whether you come out through your mom's badge, or maybe you happen to be a C-section baby, like your boy, you get out there, you start climbing out, dude. You're climbing out of your mom's badge. Whoa, 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 it's that jungle in there. Oh my God, oh, thank God we can't remember those moments, right? Where you're like, why are you painting this picture? It just happens so we land it here. Just bear with me a few seconds. Or maybe you're a C-section cleaner baby, still covered with Placenta, let's not forget where we're at right now. We're in an operating room where you grab a hole, you can't see it. You're just like, it's, and it's, that's when the fight begins. For reg babies, they're like, rah, rah. Fighter babies, that's when it's like, oh, a little, little bit of fucking placenta, you start just going in there, dude. You know what I mean? Just rubbing yourself against the forearm of the doctor or the nurse, and then you get out there and you bite your umbilical cord off and you spit in the doctor's face, and you're like, let me go, let me go. They're like, Take 30 seconds, take 30 seconds, and you puke up a little bit of that placenta, you know, liquids in your, whatever, the th it's a thing, and then you puke that out, spit it out, you know, and they're in your corner with a bucket. Rag babies, fucking melodramatic fighter babies, operational, let's go, let's go, all right? And then you get out there, and then that's when the trajectory just differs from rag babies to fighter babies. Rag babies, oh, fighter babies putting all of the babies on their backs dude you know what i'm talking about just like from the get-go rolling so that's that's what most babies do they just roll and that's how you start you start by rolling next thing you know you're crawling you're walking you're running and then you're just fighting with everything and you got it in you fighting with you know fighting with uh you've seen them do little little kids little fighter kids who just like oh i'm gonna just go you know just Older kids, no problem, you know? Bigger, you know, and you'll see them sometimes in the woods. And the, and they're everywhere too. They're everywhere. Like you'll see one of these babies in the jungle just fighting something with like, you know, maybe like a, starts off like with tinier animals, mostly like, oh, a few badgers, you know what I'm talking about? Next thing, you know, elevate that, elevate that, make it bigger. Oh, I'm, I'm fighting a baby bear cub, oh. Ba baby bear, baby bear versus human baby. You know, until you've seen it, dude. Next thing you know, boom. Transition 14, 15, 20 years later, full grown male, female, 20 years later, fighting actual bears. Biting off, you know, the, the ears off of wolves. They'll go like, you've seen these gals and guys. They go live with the wolves, dude. I've seen it. I was there documenting everything. And they're like, are you sure you can keep up? I'm like, again, if you want to just like check how many fights I got under the belt or the belt under the fights, or like, do I even use belts in fights and fights in, like, it's what it is, what it is. You know, we're not counting, you know, we're not going to go down everybody's like credentials and like, you know, oh, what did you achieve? Like nothing in fighting, but like still in my heart though, levels of fights and belts, belts and fights, my spirit belts and fights fight that's all i know that's all i've done but like physically you know what's up dude let me get a sip of this because when it comes to fighting you got to utilize all your faculties and these ladies and gents have mastered it, and i appreciate that because that's where they train most of their lives and they get in there and then all of a sudden you know you're in your you know late teens early 20s mid 20s and then next thing you know, you're getting closer to your 30, you're now becoming a master of your craft, dude. And then you get into such places as the 
the ring. The octa ring, the, or as they call it, the cage. Because it's all about animalistic instincts when you're in the cage. And isn't life like a big cage? Or like, no, for the most part, it's actually very lovely. And you're right, but like, we could like interpret it that way for just a minute, can't we? For this particular exercise. And that's what it is, baby. Extra, exercise. Es you know what it is. Exercise. But exercise. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, yeah. Don't skip a beat. Right into it. Sometimes it could be a cage. And that's when the things... When you're in a cage, what is a cage? Cage is a, well, it started off probably with like connecting two dots, drawn lines and borders, and then putting something up, maybe like fencing, so that there's a distinguished difference between what a cage is and we're like, you know, oh, where the audience members are. So, you know, where the fight's happening, because if there was no cage, let me, ladies and gentlemen, if there were no cage, then it'd just be chaos, madness. Because no cage, then we're into like street fighting. We're into dirty fighting. You into that dirty boxing? You into that dirty boxing? You want to get low? You want to just grab a little bit of mud and just put it all over your face and forehead and do a little bit of dirty boxing? Do a little bit of that. Dirty dancing, mix it with, because you need dirty dancing to get good at dirty boxing. A lot of people think, oh, how do you get that good footwork? Dirty dancing. Later transition into dirty boxing. Oh, man, the cross-pollination of techniques is just, man, flies like a butterfly. Stings like a motherfucker, doesn't he? He does. She does, too. And that's what I'm talking about. Working all the techniques. Fighting! Starts in a cage, though, okay? You need some borders, you need some, you know, you need some fencing, you need some, you need some, you need some barbed wire maybe, and that's how we used to do it back in the day when I used to at least document and partake partially as a, as a documentary and as a doc, as a person who liked to view it from afar, but also like close by. So when there is like a nice punch or an elbow or a knee or a toe, or an eye gouge or something, dude. So when this, when this, there's blood squirting out, dude. I'm right there. I'm right there. Meh. Right there. I'll catch it. What happened? No big deal. Don't worry about it. I got it. And you're like, is that good for you? I would think so, dude. These guys are like top-notch human beings, like the best of the best. So whatever's in their body, and you're like, oh, but you're not supposed to consume other people's blood. But what if they're really healthy, dude? What if they're really healthy? You know what I'm talking about? Adrenochrome, hard to come by. Healthy individuals with like, you know, oh, all the nutrients, all the, oh, everything. You know what I'm talking about? These are like the best people in terms of like athletic ability, like physical health, a little bit of that blood. You know, it's not like I'm just like, I'm not like, I'm not like addicted to it. Dude, I'll like show up and if it, ha if it just like so happens and there's a little bit of loose blood midair, I'm there. You know what I'm talking about? I'm not going to go and be like, oh, you're bleeding from your eye, dude. Let me like. You know what, I'm not gonna, not done that since like, okay, there was an event at 75. It was on their ground, things were different. All right, got a little bit shady, got a little bit dicey, got a little bit messy, not gonna lie. Fella didn't like it. But I thought I was just like, oh, I was just starting, I was a young man just cornering fellas, you know what I'm talking about? I'm like, oh, let me be your corner man. Cause I, 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 I'm good at corners, I'm good at corners. You put me in a, you put me in a location, give me 90 degrees, dude. I will, I'll, I'll make sure that you get what you need. And I thought I was doing my job, but you know, that's just eager beaver, green on the job. I'm like, oh, what else do you learn? You live, you know, I can't visit certain locations right now because, you know, they kicked me out, dude. They kicked me out. But it was, you know, that's that's fine. That's fine. I still got love for the game. You know what I mean? It's And rules have changed. Things have changed. That's okay. That's what it is, dude. Here you are out there thinking you're just helping a man. You know what I'm saying? It's like... But apparently it wasn't helping. Whatever. So be it. But let's not get carried away with that story. 
And whether or not it's real or not, is that something you need to focus on right now? I don't think so, because the realness is tomorrow. That's about to get as real as it gets. Bam. All right? So you got the cage. You're going to step in there, and everything's going to lock in. And that's when all the noise goes in your head. It goes pitch, no noise. Pitch black noise. But that's like with light. You, there's noise, but no noise. Because why? You, as a master martial artist, you know how to block out the noise. You know when there is a crowd of millions and billions of people just chanting, ah, just fucking like, ah, 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 saying your name, not saying your name, yelling, screaming, spit particles, millions, millions, millions of slowly but surely launch spit particles up in the air. It's coming right so you feel a little mist. You're feeling a little bit misty. Now you'll notice fighters sometimes when they're just lit. You know what I mean? That's that mist, dude. That's, they don't teach you this in the okay, mist off my forehead. Oh, mist. Mess off my forehead, doggy. Little bit of, little bit of that, little bit of, oh, little bit of what? Little bit of mist, little bit of that, little, ah, uh, ah, uh, miss. Nothing, dude. Nothing lands on this spot when you're in the zone. Bam. And that's what it is. So you're in the cage now. You've mastered your craft. You know all the moves. You know most of the moves. But there's new moves always being introduced into the martial arts. And that's what it is, man. So tomorrow, I'm excited because there's always been this question as to what martial arts is the best? Is it jujitsu? Is it the grappling? Is it the stand-up game? Is it the ground and pound? What are we talking about? And like some are like, oh, you got to learn all of them to be the bestest. And, but when it comes down to it, is there one that dominates one? Is there a technique that you'll have to resort to if you're in a particular situation? And we've seen that. We've seen that. We've seen that with Habib. His game was mad wrestling, dude. He would get in there, get on your hips, would not let go, and then he would have a nice ground and pound. He could choke at everything, right? So that was that. Then he retired. And right now, man, I'm excited for the Charles Olive era era because, man, that boy's got fucking... Uh, uh. I'm excited, dude. So I'm excited to see, like... Because, like, I believe, again, from my limited amount of knowledge, you know, I can tell that Charles Oliveira, mad jiu-jitsu game, but also really good at the other stuff too. Islam, been looking forward to this fight as well, because you know, there's a lot of a lot of talk, a lot of this, and rightly so. But right now, I guess we didn't get to see Habib versus Charles, but now we get to see Islam, Makachev, Makachev versus Charles, and I think he's got a tight wrestling game from what I see, from what I understand as little as I do. So I'm excited to see, is it gonna be the jiu-jitsu that overpowers the wrestling. There's going to be wrestling that overpowers the jujits. Will both of them kind of equal out each other's jujits and wrestling and have to stand up and do a stand up game? Or will they have to like go down and ground and pound? Or is there going to be somebody in a rear naked choke? I'm saying that really confidently. Like I said rear naked choke like really innately. I don't even know if that's a thing. Rear naked choke. Is that a thing? Why would they call it what? Let's just assume it's a thing. Rear, I get. Naked, I get. Choke, I get. But somehow, rear and naked together would make sense. We're rear, we're naked, makes sense. Rear, naked, makes sense. Choking, rear, naked, choke. That's when you're naked and you're in, and the, you're in the rear and you're choking. I really want to check this. Give me a second. I have to check this because if I'm just like putting out like, oh, there is no such a thing as the rear naked choke. It's rear naked choke. Yeah, there is a thing called a rear naked choke, dude. It's a chokehold in martial arts applied from an opponent's back. The word naked in this context suggests that unlike other strangulation techniques found in Jiu Jitsu Judo, this Hold does not require the use of a keikogi or training uniform. Okay, so you could just be naked. 
and doing it. Couldn't you do it with just like a t-shirt or like, I don't think we've ever seen that in the UFC, dude. And you're like, no, we've seen it plenty of times. A rear naked choke, like I've never seen anybody fully naked from the rear choking out an opponent. Is that like, is that a move that like, cause maybe we've had like rear naked chokes, but we haven't had the real rear naked choke, you know? Cause I think it's, it's in the name. If it says naked and you're committed to it, you're like committing a hundred percent, dude, you've done it all. It's like the 23rd minute of the fifth round, dude. No wait, the, the third minute of the fifth round, the 23rd minute of a five round bout of just head smashing, fists flying, knees moving up and down, toes protruding, um, everything, dude. And then when it comes down to it, and then you're like, oh, we're so tired, but I gotta like put the finishing move. And then that's when you just like, you're, you're just in trunks and most people just wear the trunks. There's no shoes, there's no, most people are like upper body, torso, naked. And that's when you're like, oh, and that's like, that's like when you, that's like a cheat code button or something. You press all the buttons together and all of a sudden pants off, dude. And you're on the rear choking naked, dude. Who's uncomfortable? Who's on? That's what, that's what we did as men and women back in my day, way back, way back. You guys weren't around. You're like, show us pictures, images. You know what? Back in the day, people showed up and like enjoyed events. You know, you're like, oh, show us some evidence of your rear naked choke, dude. I, you know, it's more like folklore at this point. I can't just be like, cause I was in the moment and the people were in the moment. Okay, it wasn't all about, oh, look at us. You know what I mean? People were there observing and watching as we got naked and choked from the rear. That's what it is, baby. So there's the, you could, yeah, so when it comes down to it, what I'm trying to say, fam, is that I get excited when events like this come about, I get excited. Because I get to see the best of the best displaying fucking magic. It's human fucking chess in real time. And it's like, who's it gonna be, dude? And once somebody does something, and it just like elevates the whole game right now, Matt, it's exciting just to talk about this because like if, yeah, if Charles beats Islam, that is, you know, that, and I don't know. I don't know who's going to take it, dude. That's a close one. But if I, I'm rooting for Charles, dude. I'm going to be honest with you. Normally, I don't pick sides, but I like this guy's journey. I'm a fan of what you do. I've seen videos, fan from the get-go. And yeah, so I'm rooting for my boy Charles in this one versus Islam. Not to say, like, that's the thing. I have respect for everybody up in this bitch. But certain players, you just like, oh, man. It just, you know, something resonates. And with Charles, man, something resonates. And so I'm rooting for Charles in that particular fight. Other fights, I'm also rooting for fellas and ladies, but I don't want to say too much just because, oh, man, but this one's like, yeah, I want to see him get that belt back. If he doesn't, then I'll be a whole new, man, it's a mixed bag. That's, this one's a tight one. It's a close one, dude. I don't know. Is it going to be... Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude, because they both got, like, jujitsu and the wrestling down and the ground and pound is tight, too. So I wonder, maybe it will just be like, oh, man, we're just going to stand up and, like, go fist to fist. Fisting, dude, just fisting for, like, five rounds, straight up five rounds of straight up stand up fisting. And those are technical terms that some of you might just be hearing. And you're like, man, sometimes I don't know what he's talking about. Technical fighting terms, dude, fisting. What you know about fisting, dog? That's what it is. So I'm excited about that, man. Things are moving. Things are moving, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful things are happening. I did uh, for a moment, for a brief, for like ten, 10 seconds, seven seconds. I just need seven seconds of your attention in regards to this matter, just because of just just the wording of it. I can't not put it out there, just because it sounds like I don't know anything about the matter at hand. But it's just like, I need like five to seven seconds of your time concentrate about this. And then we'll move on to other things. What do I want to talk about for like five to seven seconds? The UK prime minister just resigned after 44, 45 days. I guess you can say she was having trust issues. I don't know what's going on there, but trust issues. 
think that was five seconds. Okay, and we're gonna move on. And I wish everybody the best of like everybody, need, but like, dude, trust issues, ladies, it's right there. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna say more because I don't know much about it, but like, <laughs> that's right. And I guess in correlation with that same vibe, we're gonna just momentarily shift to another thing that I heard that I also wanted to, despite the fact that it's probably no bueno, but also I heard Putin declared martial law in some parts of the Ukraine. And you're like, that's terrible. I didn't know he was a fan of Eminem. <laughs> martial law? I know it's bad, but <clears throat> ah, right there. I'm oh, sorry. I had to just, sometimes you just gotta come to you and you're like, mm. <clears throat> Moving on, and that was some global affairs for you folks out there, okay? Keep it tight, everybody, keep it tight. Good God, you guys are silly out there. Fucking trust issues and martial law. Gorgeous bastards, go get it. Whatever you're doing out there, man, have fun with it. But also, like, it's not like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, these are serious fucking issues, dude. You need to have some fucking, like, you know what I'm saying, dog? There's a time and a place and a place and a time for things. Sometimes, man, and sometimes, man, things happen. And it's like... Anyway, anywho, anytime, anywhere, any place, ladies and gents, that's a little bit of this, like, you know, fighting, exciting. I appreciate what the UFC does. I appreciate what all these fighters do out there. I appreciate what you represent. And yeah, man, looking forward to a beautiful day tomorrow. I want to check out some fights and have some fun, baby boys, baby girls. But it is also, we're getting closer and closer, we're edging closer and closer to Halloween, dudes. Ladies, before I leave today, I do want to discuss a little bit of a, let's step away from fighting for a second if we can, if we may together. And let's just think about, you know, I want to talk about zombies if I may for a second. Zombies. And typical zombie relations or you know the way we handle them in society the way we're like portraying them in society or movies pop culture zombies are like everybody sees them they're freaking out either moving slow or fast doesn't matter whichever pace they're moving at you're like oh get away from me get away from me no bueno but what about an alternative view what about shifting things flipping it to 180 degrees so that it's the exact opposite of the thing that it originally was. So up until now, from what I've seen, from what I gather throughout the years, personal experiences, people, zombies, don't potentially get along. What if we put a twist on them titties and we twisted them titties and your titties are twisted now? And what if we ended up with relationships with zombies? Follow me here. Follow me. Let's just, you know what? Put everything aside for a second. Okay. Put your regular standards and, uh, you know, uh, modes of conduct and practices and you know oh cooties this cooties that let's just put all your biases aside for a second because because there's a world of opportunity out there that's why imagine instead of you know instead of because like yeah typical sitch is like you get into like you know zombie gets in your face gets in your grill you know you're like oh oh you don't smell so good Oh, your limbs are like rotting. Oh, there are worms coming out of your uh, tear ducts. Oh, you have more orifices than normal people have. I don't want comfortable with that. It's like, if you can just put all those aside for a second, let's try to look at the glass half full for a moment together, if we can. Like, it's so easy to just look at someone rotting, just like oozing pus out of every possible location on their body and it's easy to get turned off by that it's easy to just be like oh he or she has got some like you know loose skin 
he or she doesn't have a proper head on his or her shoulder that's kind of like barely hanging out you know so it's just like enough of the stigma i'm tired of this i want to see more here let's imagine what would be the pros of getting into a relationship with a zombie dude ladies let's paint another picture together a delicious beautiful picture that depicts a life of happiness joy wonder amazement a little bit of disappointment not gonna lie every love story has its ups and downs not gonna be rainbows and butterflies and sunshines and lollipops all day every day like i'd say majority of days all of the aforementioned are gonna be in those days you know some days even with a regular human it's gonna be ups and downs but i'm just saying let's just for a second imagine zombie love and we're not you know we could I'm not gonna be making it about two zombies that are in love because that's like easy they get it but like what about a human zombie relationship and go human relationship with a zombie things that could potentially work out let's try to figure it out together if we can if we may have you ever you know are you like the type that's like man i'm i'm in my i'm in my maybe you know late 20s early 30s heading into 40s 50s and so on and so forth I like life to be a little bit slower paced. You know what I'm talking about? Cause like when you're younger, when you're like a teenager, when you're in your early twenties, you're so full of just, you know, that juice, that life, that, but like at one point you still got the juice, baby. Don't get it twisted. It's juicy up in this bitch all day, every day till 99, till we drop, dude. Every last drop will be dripped. Okay. Okay. We're getting all the juice out this squeeze maximized juicing okay don't get it twisted but slowing it down a bit and you're like man i like a little i like a fella or a lady who takes life a little bit slower zombies dude fucking slower pace they get it they're like zombies are like really they're about that mediterranean lifestyle you know ever you ever travel like italy or like greece or like you know south of france and or like Spain or something, and you're like, oh man, three weeks of living here, I get it. A little nappy nap in the midday. That's like, they're a nappy nap half day. Like, they're barely not napping, dude. They've mastered napping and walking, which is, again, you know, glass half full. That's what I'm talking about, baby. So you're like, yeah, I don't want somebody who's like, maybe you've been an athlete all your life, and all of a sudden you're like, man, I like to just like mellow it out for a second. I like to just say like a couple of years in 10 20 years just like a little bit of a slower pace check out zombies so that's what i'm saying you know put everything else aside you're like what about you know let's try it again let's try to look at this from a different perspective let's go with here's the beauty of it you know ever ever like pull muscles and like cramp up and every other you know like oh i got a back ache i got a neck pain I got a I got a joint that's just a little bit stiff. I got like you know what I'm talking. Zombies, dude. Have you ever heard of, like these people are resilient? I've never heard, aside from the constant like low vibration moaning, you know what I mean. But like aside that, if you can like legit, if you can kind of like not hear that, if you can like not hear the little like under the breath kind of like they're not saying much, dude. It's just like low vibration. So no complaints ever like that's the thing you're like with all the you know and everybody's like concerned with like maybe inflation or like medical care these days or no matter where you are you're like oh there you go like your partner legit has beat the medical system dude let it rot that they they get it the zombies are the future it's i i think just saying for today just stick with it all right so loose body parts how's that not beneficial you know what i'm saying like let's say you're out there walking with your boo-boo hand in hand loose hand but nonetheless hand in hand and it's midnight past midnight what are you doing out past midnight you know nothing really happens that's super good past midnight i can extend that to like 2 in the a.m but after 2 a.m nothing really good happens out there i'm just saying but nonetheless it's it's a free world you, you do you and you hang out till till the sun comes out again where you're out there and a bunch of hoodlums approach you and they're circling you around. And that's the thing. And let's say there's five of them. And let's say the maximum number of people that you could take out one on however many, like let's say one on four you could take out, but there's like five of them, right? 
one on four, you'd have no problem taking out four people. But like five, that's a little bit too much. But now you're out with your lady, and that's the thing. And that's the thing. You don't want to put your lady in danger, right? Right? Hopefully, right? That's hopefully, right? You jerk trying to put your lady in danger. God, that's the thing. She's already kind of like half dead. So we're already off to a good start. Get this. Limbs. Removable, dog. Ever get in a fight? Not that I ever condone these things, but you should avoid fights at all costs. At all, unless you're in the UFC. That's a different ball game. It's actually not a ball game at all. It doesn't involve balls whatsoever. <laughs> if you think there's balls in the UFC, get your head straight. But, aside the point. You're like, normally you tell your regular human, boo-boo, to be like, baby boo. Step aside for a second. Why don't you just go to the corner store, grab yourself a cup of coffee, and I'm going to take care of these fools, and I'll meet you in the clothing store or whatever. Go check out a few blouses while I take care of business. You know what I'm saying? But that's, so that could work to your benefit and other, like, if you end up beating them up, one to four, you take out one, four, five people. That's great. You know what I mean? Lady was not in danger. Should you get your ass kicked by four or five people, the lady's out of sight. That's why you always send them, be like, baby, out of respect. And you talk to these hoodlums so they understand, be like, out of respect for this lady. You let the lady go and I'll stand here and go to, you know, go to town. And then you get your ass kicked. She, you know, it's not embarrassing or as much, you know, and that's still not a complete L, not a complete W somewhere between. You could just like make up the details in between. She wasn't there, dude. You could still like feel in charge. That's what I'm saying. But that's with like a regular lady. Forget that, dude. Zombie lady? Just be like, you know, here's the thing. First of all, you could take, let's say you could take four people, one on four, no problem. But there's five of them. Your chick's a fucking zombie, dude. Rip off one of her arms. Now you're like working with three hands. Rip off two arms. And she'll understand, dude. She's a zombie. She'll get it. So now you're working with four arms, dude. How great is that? Despite the fact you're going to have to like... Man, I didn't think about this. Because you'll have four arms, technically. But they're like not attached to you. You could grab them, dude. You could grab them. You could definitely grab them. Okay? From the shoulder part. like So that'll give you at least... A reach advantage of like double the arm length, which is, and you so you just start spinning. Think outside the box. I'm now you're spinning in a back alley, just smacking fools with zombie hands, clammy, greenish purplish, zombie like, and it's like nails are gross. Maybe like fucking little like worms, just like oh, that's like slap, 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 slap. You know what I'm saying? So like, think about that. And then the fight's over, pop it back in. Fucking like, oh, you're my hero. And she's like, deep inside you're like, like you guys are like, oh, this is so romantic. And you're making out with the zombie lady and her, she's tonguing you and you're tonguing back. You're like, oh, we're, we're fucking like, oh, it's, uh, it's tonsil tennis or it's, you know we're fucking you know we're just playing we're tongue wrestling you know we're tongue dancing and, it's, and then oh, oh loose tongue and it's like in your face and it's your and you're choking now and that's an experience in and of itself and you know some people are like oh what kind of flavor gum you chew and let me get a taste of that romantic ever think how romantic it'd be to like have her loose tongue just like Right there, you know what I'm saying? It's like zombies versus rec chicks, which is rec chicks, highly appreciative, but like also, and also reverse these for the dudes too. Like, you know what I'm saying, lady? If you're just like, man, I just like, uh, you know, it's time to like settle down. It's time to like take it slow and just like, cause like, you know, maybe you don't want to, like, that's the thing. Cause like a zombie's never going to leave you, dude. That's what it is. That's what I've, uh, that's what I have to put out there today. What, like, you know, making love to a zombie man eating zombie puss dude that'll be that'll be you know that's something for that's man that's that's something that's something dude what if you know hopefully hopefully you can get into it zombie puss versus zombie dick which is better dude? which is worse zombie 
dick will probably like fall off. You know, that's zombie dick, dude. What do you expect? Probably not the stiffest of stiffies, but probably still works, I would assume. So there, with a man, it might fall off. But that's the thing, if it falls off, it's more like, you know what I mean? Be like, you know what to do with this lady? You know what I mean? Like, take it to go. It's like, removable. That's like, oh, right there. And then you can just like, gorilla glue or like super glue that bad, bad boy right on and it's like good to go. Don't let a, don't let a little rotting get in the way of your happiness. And like, uh, what about eating Zombie puss, you're asking? What about eating zombie puss? How bad could it be? Um, it could be rotting. There could be, you know, it's not going to fall off, but I'll like, you know, again, it isn't, it is, uh, it's mad. With, with zombies and like the whole rotting situation, you don't know where like worms might come in and out of. I'm, I'm going to assume orifices just like regular because they got, they got extra right but like the regular ones i'm assuming there's going to be like again worms maggots like creepy crawlies coming in and out which is again if you can just like look beyond that and stop being a little baby and be mature about it and like constant communication there's nothing stopping you really that's that's what i wanted to put out there just think it over fam See, because that's the thing, it's like, it's easy to just like, especially around like, you know, Halloween's around the corner, some people might be just like, you know, oh, that's a zombie, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, oh, don't date the zombies. And you're like, they're just dressed up. Are they though? Are they just dressed up? Yeah, they're like, it makes sense, it's close to Halloween, they might be dressed up. Or they might be like feeling comfortable and like, finally, they get to go out one day of the year and... They don't have to like withstand the ridicule and the pointing of the fingers and like kids screaming, mommy, mommy, it's a zombie. I was like, like kid, like keep it cool. You know what I mean? Like don't need to make a scene. This fella needs to be, or this lady needs to be respected and loved just as much as anybody else here. And they too hope to, you know, start a family one day, I, I think. Cause that's what it is. They're always like coming towards people. They want to be with us, man. I think they really want to be with us. So open up your hearts, open up your minds, just like really keep an open mind and heart and putting that out there. Baby boys, baby girls, ladies and gentlemen, if you like these silly videos, if you like the good, good, where we talk about everything and nothing, okay? You come here every Monday, every Wednesday, every Friday. We do it big, 365. We do it small. We do it small. I, 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 I take that back. We do it small, baby steps, but like little steps lead to more steps. And we're, we let's get to step it together. That's what it is, baby. Doing big things, but like in small increments, small things in big increments, really, does size even matter? Okay, ladies, gents, we all, I think we can all agree that it is not an issue whatsoever. It's how you ride the wave. So with that being said, with that being said, you can find these videos, again, on Instagram every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Follow me, it helps your boy out. Thank you very much. You can get the full length videos on YouTube as well by searching Rob Sadri or Glad You Made It. There's gonna be some changes little by little coming. Uh, we'll, t we'll discuss it as we come along. No worries about that. But yes, full length videos on YouTube. Again, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And you're like, man, I like where this project's going. I like where this show is going. I like to help you out. I like to be a part of it little by little. If I may, if I could, there is patreon.com slash Rob Sadri. Man, way to like, Oh, that's what you get, dude. Instant karma. I just fucked up my own fucking last name, dude. Sadri, and you just like went through everybody's name and you said most of them to the best of your ability. All of a sudden, when it gets your own last name, it's fucking Mr. Oh, I don't know my own last name. Rob Sadri, dude. That's what it is. That's what it is. And yeah, go on patreon.com slash Rob Sadri. And that's where you can fiscally support the show if you like. And if you like to enjoy for free, it is all available to you. Enjoy as many of them as possible. It is the weekend, the precursor to the weekend, dare I say. Let's let's go out with a bang. Ladies and gentlemen, rock out with your cock out, baby. I'll see you guys back here again on Monday. Peace out.